Hi, it's Tanya again. I'm back with Divorce Hack 21. So we're sticking with the, the theme of um, property. And what I want to talk to you about now is titles and who owns a house. So why is this important? Well, it's important because if you're not on a title of a property, you legally have very little say about that asset. Now, what does that mean? When most couples get uh, or purchase a property, they'll buy it as a shared title, so 50-50. So that means that both people have an equal share in the asset. Now, that also means that the property can't be sold without the other person's knowledge. But if the property is owned 100% in one person's name, then that person has the ability to do with that property as they want. Now, how do we protect that asset? I'll get into that. But let's explain why someone would possibly have a house 100% in their name. So it could be because the other person in the marriage or the relationship has a business, so as a risk mitigator, their accountant or their lawyer has suggested that the other party own the house in their name. So if that the person that owns the business gets sued, then they can't come after the house. Or it could be that one of one of the couple is a high income earner. So they buy the house in the other person's name, knowing that they can claim back all of the outgoings on that property on that person's tax, therefore giving them a greater tax return. So there's a few reasons why this might happen. It could also be that someone's inherited a house or it could be that both parties had a house before they got together. And then once they got together, um, you know, they've gone off and they've purchase something else but in the meantime they've still got other assets there available. So how do you protect yourself if you are not on the title of your house or the house the the assets that you guys have in the relationship? So my suggestion to you is to make sure that you get some legal advice and you might want to consider a caveat. So what's a caveat? A caveat is where someone can come in on top of the certificate of title and put in a, a caveat and that means that the, the property cannot be sold without that person's knowledge or whatever their interest is in is, is in in the property getting paid out. So it's a, it's a risk mitigator and something that people should obviously consider if they are not on the title of the property. It also means that properties can't be refinanced as well, which is another really key issue here. Because if you're not on the title and the mortgage is 100% in your partner's name, they can redraw, they can take money out of the offset account, they can sell it, they can refinance it. And before you know it, there's a whole other loan or there's more debt associated with the relationship that you weren't aware of. So all of these things are important and it's really key to make sure you get some advice in this area.